and welcome to another episode of the Crazy A Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite the Explosive One, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T, Jonas. Yes, sir. I still don't have a goddamn haircut. Yeah, dude. I look like dirty broccoli. <laughs> what? <laughs> dirty broccoli? Yeah, man. Well, didn't you say you're going to let it grow long and get braids? Yeah, but God damn it, I'm, you know, fuck. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I Thank ain't getting so pussy much. looking like this, Jonas. <laughs> you get the, get some other stuff. I, do. I look like a goddamn black troll. Takes <laughs> first, first thing. Thank you so much for joining us on the Crazy Town Podcast today. Uh, whether you're joining us on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, or uh, on Spotify, iTunes, all that shit. This guy, he's on uh, Twitter. Don't yeah, Twitter. this is TNT, this is TNT Dynamite, the human lumpha. Uh, <laughs> I'm on Twitch every single day at nine o'clock, ten o'clock a.m. Uh, Central TNT D I N O M I G H T <laughs> underscore a crazy town. Come and hang live if you want to hang out with a black Q tip. <laughs> the <laughs> human lumpha. <laughs> Wow, dude. Dude, I look ridiculous. I wouldn't say that. I put a hat on the other day and I went out and I was like, oh no. Yeah, when you put a hat on it like your hair sticks out the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it looks like a glance. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What is a glance? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look that up. Wow, dude. Yeah, Google that one. So I guess I'm gonna get right into it today. <laughs> G-L-A-N-S. Start, start Start us out on a, uh, damn it, John. a hot take. Well, yeah, because just, just degrading yourself. <laughs> I'm sitting up here with all these fucking pubes on my head. Wow. I'm just saying, I'm not happy. Uh, I, when are you gonna go get it cut? Their barbershops are open, dude. Yeah, get out oh, there. Yeah, yeah, Jonas. Sure, just take go, a chance. Go do it, man. It ain't worth it to me, honestly. Yeah. I feel you. That's what a lot of things are for me. I'm like, oh, do I want it? Nope. I'm good, dude. I'm gonna hang out at home. And they're mm -hmm. like, people are like, why don't you want it? And I'm like. Does it matter to you why I don't want to? Do yeah. you really? Does it bother you? Do you can you not sleep at night because you want to know why I'm not out in the streets doing stuff? Oh, is that what you tell people, Jonas? You get fly it with people then? No, I don't question care. your your no, reasons. I'm just like I'm not doing it. Yeah, like I said, well, it doesn't man. matter. It's my if I want to stay in the goddamn house every minute of my life for the rest of my life, I have that right. I'm a human. That's... I'm an American. Whoa! <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Jonas is taking a stand. Well, what's funny is like, I think what why people ask me is because I am a giant social butterfly. Before pandemic, mm. I was every single night after work, I was, as soon as I would get off, because I work from home, mm. I'd be out that door and I'd be out doing something every single night almost. All right. So what about those people that say you're a little pussy? They can they can think I'm the biggest pussy in the world, dude. I don't care. No, Johnny, you little baby girl pussy. You want to go outside? You scared and get sick? Yes. <laughs> you want to know the truth? <laughs> I don't want a disease that I don't. I mean, All right, fair enough. They don't know my health history, dude. I, I like I like the way you your defense against that was you okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who cares? Oh, I'm a big floppy pink vagina. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, guy. You don't know how many times I've had pneumonia and bronchitis in my life, do you? <laughs> Oh, look, I'm on my period. Yeah, right. Like, up, oh, up. Oh. And that's how I've always been, dude. Like, it, like I've never been the person, the guy who's like, oh, you chicken? And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'll go in there and piss in that convenience <laughs> store. Like, I don't care. Yeah, dude, I'm a big fucking chicken. I look at my feathers. You know, it's funny, Jonas. At my age, it's like, I, I think about stuff like that and, like, nothing can really piss me off. Like, when's the last time you flick somebody off? Like, on the road or something or just, like... Somebody just made you. I have like flipped off a friend, jo but joking, you know, like if I if somebody was to like flick me off, like in in public, like a person standing in front of me flicked me off, it's not gonna make me just. I I'd probably laugh. You I gotta fight you now. I, I probably would laugh at them. I would think it was funny. I'd be like, oh my god, are you literally giving me the finger in public? Yeah, like they give you that emphatic one, like that one with like all the rage behind it, like fuck. You dude, like, oh, and like I guess shaking. my first question would be like, what did I do? Yeah, they got the thumb extended and everything. Oh, they got the, yeah, they got the they got the index oh, finger. Oh, <laughs> they have the index finger half cocked. <laughs> they mean that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But fuck you, dude. <laughs> like that means nothing. I don't think I've ever like it given somebody the finger like I don't that know. hard. <laughs> 
with I, that much gusto. I don't get mad, dude. I don't get mad at stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been flicked off like that before, but I've seen it happen. Oh, oh, absolutely. I, I okay, hot take. <laughs> I get more mad at inanimate objects than I ever have got at people. Yeah. I'm like, fuck this computer, fuck this video game. Yeah, but like, true. when that's I'm like, true. oh, this person's making me mad, I'm like, I'm just not going to deal with them anymore. <laughs> I, yeah, I, in fact, I flip off inanimate objects. <laughs> I flipped off my television screen <laughs> my <laughs> way computer, more. My Xbox, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck you, computer, just work. I, I will 100% uh, admit that I have stubbed my toe and then fuck you to that table. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, table. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, dude. dude. Table I, uh, can't flick me off back, dude. I won. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I don't understand getting that mad at a person. Like, hmm. I think the finger has lost its power over the years. Oh, yeah. It used to mean so much more. I think so. Yeah, because I remember, like, the 90s, I even remember, like, rappers, like, hand on your balls and, like, the middle finger out, and it was like, oh. <laughs> They're edgy. Yeah, dude. You don't know what he's going to do. Shaggy too dope, bro. <laughs> Shaggy too dope. And now I see it, and I'm like, come on. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know. Uh, like, it's, what is it, 92? Why are, you, why are you flicking me off? That means nothing. Yeah, dude, I don't. But I just look. You I don't put that finger up and he'll break it. Yeah, I just don't get people who react like that. Like, well, whether I mean, if you want to flip somebody off, whatever. But like, if someone flips you off or someone calls you chicken or something, like not even chicken, calls you a pussy, whatever. Like, oh, why, why aren't you gonna go in there and language? They're like, you should go in there. You should go in there and pee in the in the convenience store. And you're like, I'm not gonna do that. Who? Why would you do that? What are you pussy? Buck, 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 and then buck. yeah, and you're like, you're like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm gonna go in there and I'll piss in the convenience. Like, what, who cares, dude? What are they gonna do? Be like, oh, look at Jonas. He wouldn't go piss in the convenience store. What a what a jerk. And you're like, oh my god, <laughs> calling somebody a chicken, dude. That and that that takes me back to like, uh, back to the future. Yeah, yeah, Marty <laughs> McFly, dude. Oh, you chicken? He's like, nobody calls me chicken. Don't call me a chicken. <laughs> Nothing nowadays. Nothing. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't get how, like, people, I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, a long time ago I stopped caring about what people think like that. <laughs> and maybe that's the problem. It happens, man. Like, once you, once you get like, out of high school. Yeah, it's like, you, you think you think I'm weak because I don't want to do something that you think I should do? Then yeah. fine, I'm weak. Yeah. Fuck. Weakest person. I'm the weakest man ever. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, since I've been out of high school, I don't think I've been flicked off, called a pussy, and or a chicken. Unless it was uh, from a friend doing this, just being a jerk. I don't even think I've had anybody tell me to suck their dick. Not, that, not and like I feel like that one's a little bit more disrespectful, but still, I'm just gonna be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks for the show of interest. Yeah, right. Ooh, I'm, I'm glad flattered. you chose me. Yeah, I'm flattered, <laughs> but, but no, no. I, don't go, I don't do that. Thanks. Yeah, 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 dude. I don't. I just don't get why people uh, get so like like why that like how I, it blows my mind like you would rather go do something against your will because you don't want some random person to think that you're a pussy a chicken weak yeah yeah like oh man I want to make I don't want Steve to think I'm a jerk I'm weak so I'm gonna go in there and do something I don't want to do because yeah man stand on your own too don't be concerned you know. If yeah. you if you want to wear a mask out in public, goddamn it, don't let other people <laughs> don't let somebody else control your fucking motions. Man. Oh, and that's a great example. People are like this shit ain't real. Do I wear that mask? You 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 can. Why does it hurt you that I'm wearing a mask, dude? Are you upset that I got mask on? Does it make you up? Does it make you feel weird? Like yeah, but believe me, you're a real badass if you don't wear a mask. Yeah, dude, that's some shit. Because you you braver than me. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's for yeah, you sure. going out to the bar with or without Yo, a mask? You braver than me. <laughs> somebody get this man a badass medal. Yeah. He deserves a plaque that says I'm a badass, dude. Right? <laughs> I, yeah. God, I just want to get into an epic fucking middle finger battle, Jonas. Do you ever it. seen those? Pick on, a stranger and do it. I've seen those on Reddit. See no how that goes. It. Um. So electricity man yeah we like it we use it all the time i pay for it um there's a lot of you know big big uh push to take um get rid of the fossil fuels and go towards electric well, imagine that you know tesla's blown up um there's another company mm, nikola they're doing just uh give away the information no nikola's doing uh semis <laughs> yep 
There's other ones too. They, uh, they have successfully done a first all electric plane. Oh, really? It is a, uh, let's see, the companies are Engine Manic, Magnix, and, oh wait, the, the engine was made by a company called Magnix, Magnix, M-A-G-N-I-X, and then Aerotech was the engineering company who developed it. Are they public? Uh, I don't think so yet. Mm. Um, but this is, a, they, it's called <clears throat> an e-caravan. It, they were able to do a 30-minute flight. Um, it was, uh, it was only like a small prop plane. It didn't tell how many people it could sit from, from the picture. It looks like maybe it could fit six or eight, maybe four. It was like, but it was like one of those, like, um, this like a pri like a, pri like, a, like if you were a rich dude and flew your own plane and just had a, a plane, it looked like one of those. Oh, so I'm Tyler Perry and right. I decided that I want a new plane. Right. Yeah. Um, and it, they were able to, the first time they were able to do it with all electric for 30 minutes, which is a huge breakthrough. It's like the, basically like the Wright brothers getting the first plane off the ground. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, they did say they're probably... 20 years away from it being commercial because they yeah. i mean because the power of electric to fly that distance at that weight yada yada it needs a lot but and it, like with small planes you don't go nearly as high in the air you know but even if you could get all these small prop planes out of the air and all these people who have private planes fly electric that's that's a huge cut in emissions yeah you know i mean grand commercial is gonna be what they are i but. wonder if it's cheaper in the long run for like airlines to go this route because then you don't necessarily have to worry about getting the fuel like the price of electricity versus the price of fossil fuel is is pretty drastic oh absolutely because like, we make electricity and yeah and like fossil fuels are a finite resource you know mm -hmm. and they pollute the air you know all that exhaust yeah, yeah, from burning yeah. it I was but, just uh, thinking like cost effectiveness <laughs> because if it's not cost effective then nobody's going to adopt it Right. I, I mean, I'm sure as time goes, that's probably why they say 20 years, because right now I'm sure that plane <coughs> would be a ridiculous price. Yeah. But in like 15 years, that plane won't be so ridiculous. But it says here, yeah, aviation is 12% of all emissions. So like if they were able wow. to do that, and then like that's why that other company who does semis, they haven't started like putting them out yet. But once – like think about all the semis that drive across the country. If you make all those bitches electric, mm. dude, that's so much like less emissions in the air. Like it's – it just takes time to get efficient with those things. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. I was having a conversation with somebody about uh, about the whole carbon footprint uh, theory. Yeah. And they say, they told me is that it's kind of a lost cause because, yes, you can change all of these policies in America. You can change all of these regulations in, in, in our country. Right. But our country is not even like a quarter of what the planet has. Yeah, I mean, we have a big footprint because we are one of the most advanced nations in the country, but yes. I mean, yeah, but you still got other countries who put far more pollution out than us. Oh, absolutely. They don't have nearly the regulations we do. Exactly. So it was like, what we would do would be, if not minor, it would be insignificant, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but I was I, I told him it was like, so what do you do? You do nothing and just say fuck it, the world is over or do you do something? Right. Like a, any a small change is a change. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's uh it's like once like I saw this meme online, it was like the difference between doing nothing to doing a little bit every day. It's like it's one times zero, exponent zero, or one point oh one or one point zero times exponent of zero is zero, is one. Or, you know what I mean? But if you do 1.01, 1 .01, you know, one very little step a day times 365 exponentially, you're up to like 37 or something. At the, you know, so it's like a little bit of progress can be a lot of progress. You, you do no push-ups a day, you do one push-up a day, you're going to have a difference from one push-up a day. Sure. You know? So it's it's like yeah, you change one little thing about carbon emissions, or yeah. you do nothing. And there's always the chance that uh, that people could see the the difference that uh, taking on these regulations is having for this country if we if we adopt them in, in more regularity. Right. And then they could they could maybe even want to adopt those in in their countries because they'll be like, wow, these electric planes or electric cars or electric semis or these these alternatives are are, are worth adopting. You know? Right. Oh yeah, dude. It's well, I mean. And I think that's what happened with the uh, legal cannabis industry. Like those two states mm -hmm. were like, we're going to, we're going to bite the bullet and try to do this. And then people were like, 
Wow, you've how much money did you make? Yeah, yeah. Wait, the crime didn't go up. Wait, wait. Yo, you know, like, and they're like, oh, <laughs> Canada is sitting up here chill as fuck. Right now. <laughs> like, hey, we're sitting here looking stupid as hell, letting all the people who do it illegally. Right. Get the fuck yeah, out man. of here. Segway. Kingdom of Judah from the Iron Age. I'm sorry, what? There you was a you don't know the Bible. Uh, there was a uh, it was a kingdom of Judah in the Iron Age. It was it was around Jerusalem around somewhere around Jerusalem. Yes, it is. It was uh, featured in the Hebrew Bible. <laughs> That's what it, the article said. <laughs> yes, Jonas, I know what the Bible is. It, <laughs> you, I mean, okay, I guess not everybody knows. Okay, it, me, I didn't know what the hell this was when I found it. So there you go. That's why I was like, what the fuck are you reciting passages from the Bible? Right. So um, back in the 60s, they had excavated or whatever, an old site from this. And uh, they had found uh, – and they put some of the stuff in the museum, and there was, they had found, like, residues um, in it. But they obviously didn't know what it was. This was Shroud of Torin? What? I, I'm not sure. It, it didn't say exactly all that. It was called the Holiest of Holies. The site, I think, was called that or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dude. Anyways. Yeah, I like violating that area on women. Wow, Jesus. Yeah. So there was a company that decided to um, take – now it, they went – they got permission from wherever this stuff was stored or music, whatever. Sure. To test this residue that was found. All right. Turns out um, some of it was frankincense. Oh, shit. And they would mix the frankincense with animal fat. Yes, they would. To get it to burn. Yeah. It was it smelled good. It was like incense. And they mm. found out the other... Fucking myrrh. Cannabis. Oh, they were smoking reefs. There was it. There were the other residue on the altar. Well, they, they say it was. It, it, they ended up being like ha hashish because it was like it wasn't like they were burning like actual weed, but like they're burning already resin or tar or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it said it was mixed with animal feces. Wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah. So it's they. They seem to think that they would go into these chambers and they would set the. They use the feces and the animal fat to burn these things, and then they would go in there for like an experience because I, they obviously didn't know what it, what they were doing, but they were getting high, high on poop, <laughs> high on well the hash, but yeah, oh, no, they smoking that good shit, yeah. So <laughs> literally, but they're saying, uh, you know, they they believe that it came from like Yemen and Saudi Arabia because that stuff wasn't available, like frankincense, like wasn't available in Jerusalem yeah. in those times. Yeah. So they're, they're thinking that like people were, yeah, people were using cannabis as far back as that time, the iron age. Dude, I don't know when the iron age was, but that's fucking gross though. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, you just I don't want fat cannabis. shit. And I don't want any, no, that's, that's the <laughs> just worst. Get a, get a pile of like get buy a steak, cut the fat off it, put it on the table. Take shit, throw some meat on it, just set it on fire. Just roll that bitch up in a filly. <laughs> <laughs> just get you a pack of backwoods and some shit and fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll pass on that. Ew. Well, we've obviously refined our taste <laughs> since the Iron Age. Yeah, I guess, man. <laughs> That's but, pretty fucking gross. But yeah, yeah. yeah, but they found out. Yeah, like back even back then, they were like using like hash and whatnot. That makes like, sense, though. Honestly, I think that the use of narcotics has been around for a long time. It's just like people didn't really think they were narcotics, but people would eat like berries and shit and be like, "Oh, these berries make me trip a little bit." Yeah, but or they'd I, eat mushrooms, but I didn't get sick. Yeah, because mushrooms, mushrooms grow off cow poop. So like, I am sure. That before people knew what they were, someone was like, oh, a mushroom. Let's make it in our stew. The entire family's tripping balls, <laughs> you know? That does lead you to think it's like we didn't – like in the earliest ages, we didn't know what foods or what plants were like good. So there was this like – it was this test. It was just like fucking we go out there and eat something. And if it killed us, it killed us. If it didn't, it didn't. And then right. we keep yeah. it moving. Well, it's like – it's funny because like – and that's why I think – Trial and error. And that's why I think – society has evolved to where all of our advances are like things that we've created from thin air, like technology, because there's only so many things that are finite in this planet for us to find, explore, test. And then you can be like, Oh, well we can, now we can build this mechanical thing and mm. see what it, you know? Cause like there ain't nobody out there finding like, Hey guys, I found a brand new fruit. Like shit doesn't happen. Yeah. And if it does, I mean, it, it might happen. Yeah, there's new plants being discovered, yeah. but it's nowhere. Like when, the fucking no, world was no, discovered, no, no. you know. 
everyone's like, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, my God, an orange, <laughs> you know? But it, it is amazing, man. I, I was watching, uh, what do you call that, that primitive technology, and the dude was like, yeah, you can make cement bricks out of, like, wood ash and then, like, I don't know, some sort of sandstone or some sort of, like, clay or something, but it was a powdery substance, and he put, like, wood ash in it, and then he, like, wet it and turned it into a cube, and then he fire blew it in a kiln, and then it was like, yeah, it's a cement block. He sets it in, in water, and some of a bitch doesn't dissolve. He sets it in there for three days, doesn't dissolve. I'm like, well, son of a bitch, you just made out of nothing. So we got endless amounts of reagents, whether it be plants or, uh, or rocks or animals, all these reagents that if you mix two things together, you might just come up with fucking yeah. electricity. And yet they, uh, and yes, they deny that homeopathic uh, remedies to illnesses exist. Well, Jonas, uh, that is your belief. <laughs> no, but people, people say that. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, people yeah. are like, "That's not even possible." Like, oh, if dude. if all of this shit is coming from this planet, why isn't there something on this planet that can counterreact it? I mean, that's a good point. That you know, is it's a good point because you you can't say that there isn't. It's kind of like, I guess, like my idea with aliens. I, I think they exist 100% because life finds a way. And I guess with all the resources that we have, there has to be something that can right, do something. Right, dude. How do you know if you don't mix a animal fat, a, a carrot, and uh, some, some, some wheat roots, it don't cure cancer? Like, or some, you know, something random like that. It's like, well, it's like a crafting on my crop. Exactly. Fucking Tylenol. <laughs> It's basically a plant. It came from a plant. It started with a plant. Dude. They were like, oh, look, this plant. Stop headaches. And then they, they refine and, it and put yeah, it into pill form so you exactly. can not have to eat a plant, you know? Exactly. So, yeah, we are already using... Yeah, because nobody's just making this shit up. This is all shit we have here. Right. It's Right. And then, But you just find a better way to market it. Like... Yeah. Like for Tylenol, like would it is it more efficient to put it into a pill? You can just take a pill, or have everyone have to go out find this plant? No, I got a headache because <laughs> now it's concentrated. But yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy because all the pills are basically made from shit that is on this planet. It's not like somebody created the uh, Viagra for you to get your dick hard. No, they they took a bunch of different things, put it together, put it in a pill. That we're already here, and now your dick gets hard. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff is chemically created, right? Like, isn't aren't but some of the chemicals are just already here? When you look at the periodic table, that shit that's already oh, here. Oh, that's true, because you can take two chemicals and mix them and then make another chemical. So it all comes from a basic, like, hydrogen, like, uh, yeah. oxygen, you know, use all those sort of... It is honestly, it is one of the most amazing things that we went from basically sticks, rocks, and dirt to sending space shuttles into, into the atmosphere or into, into space. Right. With those same sticks, rocks, and dirt. We're basically taking those same sticks, rocks, and dirts, but we're taking the one piece that we need to make the steel, the pieces that we need to make the fossil fuel to send the rocket up, the pieces, and then putting it together right. to make the wire, the rubber, to make the well, wire, the thing plastics. About, like the internet. We, we took sticks, rocks, and dirt and made it that we could send information to each other. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, like, it, like, that's literally what we started with, and then we figured out a way to make it. So, like, we make... We can we have things that we can watch. We can project images from across the world, Crazy. like from rock sticks and dirt, essentially. From rock sticks and dirt. Yeah, dude. It's if like there's literally gold in my cell phone. Right, I don't know and, what the fuck it does, and people, but it's in there. And people don't think about that. People are so like, this is what's here. But if you like, it's it's awe inspiring. It is to think it's, about what it's nuts. The, the, the houses we live in, the phones we carry, the cars we drive. I mean, look at the first car ever, and look at the cars we drive now. And that was what the 1920s the or something. 20s, the 30s. Yeah, so 100 like years. <sighs> Telling you, man. Now they're all aero. I mean, even look cars from the 80s. They were, we watched those commercials the other night on YouTube. We were watching those 80s commercials. Remember those cars yeah. we would see? Like they look like a goddamn box. <laughs> And now they're Aerodyne. all sleek and aerodynamic to get better gas mileage. And But even beyond that, if you think about how, even in our lifetime, how we went from pagers to now we have phones that are basically like... Computers. The, they're basically computers. It has the sum total of the world's knowledge. My mom used to buy encyclopedias. Yeah. Oh, I, I would some... laugh at a person for buying an encyclopedia right now. You're going to spend $700 on a set of encyclopedias? Just get yourself fucking S8. <laughs> get yourself an S8. You're good. Right. You don't even need to have it connect to a carrier. Just have Wi-Fi on it. You can just... You can, <laughs> like, 
We took rock sticks and dirt and made an S8. <laughs> so you don't have to get encyclopedias. We made condoms with sticks, rocks, and dirt, too. Yo! <laughs> sticks, <laughs> rocks, and dirt, man. <laughs> Just rub some sticks, rocks, and dirt on your crotch and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how it works. Uh, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh... Yeah, this guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every <laughs> single day at 9, 10 o'clock a.m. Centro. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Come and hang out with your boy live. <laughs> we have up for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are Oda.